as you will see with some pride, I hope, of the international schools that have won awards for best practice over the past year or so of pandemic education, many of them are here in Malaysia or not very far from home. The pandemic has refined the way that we think about education, making us focus on the most important things. And it's also refined the way we communicate that. So if you're a Cambridge school, for example, you will find very clear focus now on the learner profile and what kind of minds we want our learners to have and how we should be training those minds. And here you see that expressed in linear form, but also in the circular mandala form, you might call it. It is notable how many international educational organizations express their holistic aims for the development of children through these circular mandala diagrams to convey both the separateness and the interconnectedness of the different elements of an education in pursuit of values and human qualities and characteristics that are our aim in schools. Sometimes the mandala is very, very detailed and complicated like this one. And sometimes the wheel of holistic education is much simpler and more driven as an iterative process like this one. The KTJ mandala that you can see here is used to convey their understanding of what they are trying to achieve educationally and teachers use it to explain to children why they have to do something hard when something easy seems obvious and why they have to try to stretch and challenge themselves to connect beyond the simple and straightforward to what goes beyond. And so you start from the center of the flower and the first row of petals from the center are the primary learning characteristics and then the next row out are the secondary learning characteristics and then they connect with the outside world and with the kind of human being that we want children to be on the level of integrity and empathy. So what about us here at NIS? Well, the online learning platform is broadly a level playing field, but of course primary and secondary education are not the same thing and they require very different playing fields and environments in which to learn. Young people are very often overstimulated in front of a computer while uh, secondary children are very often understimulated and bored. And that puts a burden on teachers to inject much more variety and excitement and awe and wonder and constant variety of activity into their lessons online if they want to keep the children's attention. So here are the first seven things that if you ask my teachers, they will tell you that they have learned to do, taught themselves to do, taught each other to do, either from the beginning or much better than before since the pandemic began. Here are the first seven. And here are another eight. And here are another nine. And these are just the 24 things that I listed quickly that my teachers, when surveyed, said that they had had to develop their skills and practice in over the past 15 months or so, purely in order to try to be better teachers and communicate with their children more effectively during the pandemic. But even if you're doing all of this, that does not mean 
that you're going to necessarily get through to every child all of the time. For example, here are the things that my teachers most commonly said were problematic for them still after 15 months of refining their practice in online learning. And as you can see, these are very common complaints that people all over the world have been experiencing and voicing. And here are the rest of their concerns. And it is just so much easier to work a room with your charisma and magnetism and human qualities than it is to work a Zoom and to reach out and to connect with people in the same way. So how can you do that? Because it's an essential part of education to do that. And to answer that question, I'm going to hand over to Miss Vicky, our amazing head of primary, who gets the last word in this webinar, because she has become, over the past two years, because of the pandemic, the most remarkable maker of pictures and videos, montages and collages, which try to bring children and staff and parents together in a genuinely vibrant community experience, despite that physical cutoff between us. So let's let her video do the talking. Over to you, Vicky. Thank you, Charles. My name is Vicky and I am the primary head teacher at Neelai International School. I'd like to share the amazing journey of how we embrace the challenges brought by COVID and use it as an opportunity to flourish, adapt and develop our skills. Similar to schools all around the world, we had to act quickly, learn fast and be prepared for lots of trial and error so the learning could not only continue but thrive too. During the initial stages, we used weekly reflections from the staff, students and parents and these evaluations enabled us to set realistic online timetables, create a bespoke online curriculum, set our expectations and quickly solve any teething troubles we encountered. Our staff have been very creative with their delivery of online lessons by researching best practice, trialling new teaching methods to engage the students and then training each other so we all evolve and improve together as a team. We use Google Meet, Jamboard, Classkick as platforms to engage our students and celebrate and share the work produced with the families on Class Dojo. I want to show you how online lessons do not deter effective learning. In fact, with the help of educational tools and websites that support home-based learning, us teachers can deliver a lesson just as good as we do in school. Look at the student's work and you can see that they are learning, participating and using variety of skills to achieve the learning objective. During online lessons at NIS, we believe the student should also study creative subjects while online. These subjects allow my students to be very creative. I am very proud of my year 3 class who have produced some fantastic pieces of artwork that inspired by famous artists. Many online learning tools are offered for free which have been very helpful in supporting my lessons. Just like in school, we also do group discussions, quizzes and tests. I can monitor students' work and support them immediately as needed. These online tools have taken the stress away from my students and they enjoy learning online as much as learning in school. We hold regular primary assemblies where the students proudly present and discuss their learning. We also celebrate many special events and ensure that students' learning is always exciting. We created a production of The Lion King for all the students from EYFS to Year 10. To stimulate creative writing, students and staff dressed up for Halloween and they created some wonderful stories. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed our presentation. Do you have any questions?